Hello viewers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is the day four of this our course in IP camera training. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can configure your newly bought camera using the config tool. Okay, so the camera I'm going to be using today is Dawa camera. So we're going to be using Dawa config tool to configure the camera. Now, in my last video, I showed you guys, I explained to you guys what a switch means, not only switch, but a PoE switch. I explained some functions and how uh, it is being used. So in this video, we'll just be talking about the configuration of IP cameras that were precisely. I'm also going to do another video on Hig Vision and other technology once I get my hands on them. Okay, so I'm going to be using this camera as an example so this is an a network camera this is an ip camera a network camera okay so i'm going to unseal this so uh, this is how ip camera looks like so this is the port, okay? So I'm going to do, be doing this connection this way. I have two Ethernet cable here. This is one, this is two. So I'm going to connect this one to the PoE port of my switch. Then from my switch to the camera, okay? Then from the uplink of the switch to my system. Okay. But so if you watch the camera is up. So the next thing to do is uh, let's download the Dawa config tool. So come to your browser, okay? You can just type uh, Dahua. Config to. So uh, you can download from this site. So we have for window download, we have for Mac OS, we are using uh, Mac system. So my system is Windows, so we're going to be downloading the window. So click on it. So let's get the version for the window. So our download starts. So like I said, if um uh, if it is a Hig Vision camera, we're going to use uh its own config tool. Okay, I'm going to do a video on that and show you guys the config tool and how it is being worked and other technology that I'll be showing you guys also how to configure. Okay, so in this video we're going to be talking about the OWA camera and we're going to be using the config tool for the OWA. So our our download is done so open the folder so let's search for it so it's here so i'm going to open it okay extract Yes. So 
So you can choose a language for installation. So I'm going to be choosing English. Next. Terms and conditions. I agree. Install. So let's give it some time. Okay, installation is complete. Enjoy now. So we're going to allow it to open. Okay. So this is the shortcut it's created for us. All right. So I'm going to double click on this. And I'm going to say yes. Now terms and condition agree. Okay, we know Defender has blocked some features of these apps. No problem. Just allow access. So you can agree or disagree if you don't want to join the experience program. But I will just go to agree. Okay, now. I'm going to disconnect my system from the wireless. I connected wireless because I needed to download the app so i'm going to disconnect my system from my wireless okay so let's wait okay now the the system is now seeing the camera from our switch okay so if you watch it's telling us that uh no internet yes there's no internet access but it's identifying what device is being connected to it now first of all we're going to change the ip address of our system remember that our default ip address is 192.168.1.108 so whenever i buy any uh Dawa camera or NVR or DVR, the default IP address is 192.168.1.108. Okay, so I'm going to configure or change the IP address of my system to match or to be on the same class with the default IP address of our new camera. Okay, so I'm going to go to change adapter settings. Unidentified network. So I'm going to right click, go to properties. Internet protocol version 4. So I'm going to input static IP address to match uh, the class C IP address that the default camera has. So I can use 192168 one dot let me say so let's say 100 now the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 we don't have any uh gateway here so there's no router we're not going to touch the gateway so okay okay all right so let's go back to the config tool now search settings that's the first thing you click. Now, if you come to this screen, this particular part, it's asking, it's asking us the start IP and the end IP. Now, this means that you should give a default start IP address and the ending uh, IP address. So, now, let me assume you have like 50 to 60 cameras you want to configure. Okay. So, I can give the default start IP address to be 192.168.1.1. Then the end IP address to be maybe 191.68.1.100 or maybe 1.60 or so. Okay, now all your camera's IP address will be on this range starting from this 
and ending on this okay well let's leave these default settings as 191.681.1 .1. then the ending should be 191.681.1 so my first camera will be 191.681.2 the second one will be 1.3 no we'll keep adding cameras keep adding cameras until it is up to 254 okay now you can give a default uh, I, uh default username and password you want your cameras to adopt okay now the default here that Dawa has is admin admin so we're going to still leave it the way it is you can change it if you want okay now if you watch automatically the camera we have just popped up now if your camera did not come up you can search for device So say please go to search settings to change your username and password so me i'm not changing i'm going to leave it as the default so if you search you will now see that your camera has popped up and it's showing uninitialized so if we initialize this camera it's going to turn up initialize here now this is the default ip it came with 192.168.1.2 108 okay with this port number this is the mac address the version and other settings okay now if we want to initialize this now remember the essence or the reason why we want to initialize this camera is to avoid ip conflict if we have like more than one camera here that's that is dawa all the ip address will be 191 dot 108 when we add it to the nvr the nvr will be like which camera am i really displaying okay now if we have more than one cameras here that is the same uh technology like the dawa if i have like one two to three to four or sixty cameras here all their default ip address will be 192.168.1.108 now the reason or the main reason why we are initializing this camera is to change the ip address and give them unique ip addresses on the same class so that they will not have the same ip address to avoid what is called ip conflicts okay so that is the main reason of us initializing these cameras all right now first to initialize this camera that we have here we're going to 